Hi there, thought I'd do a quick video to compare the Squirt PS4 and debut my new Squirt ES4. These multi tools are both from the Leatherman uh, pocket uh, keychain size rather range, both weigh about 50 grams. Both have the same tool set apart from the obvious um, main tool, which is pliers. So, just go on the ES4, you've got a blade, you've got file, both sides, um, one's checkered and one's straight sided. You've got a pair of scissors, and you've got a small driver, which works on Phillips, and then you've got the larger flat driver with the integrated bottle opener. So those are all the tools and they're the same on both. Ply head on the PS4, standard pliers, um, needle nose portion, knurling in the middle there, and then wire cutters. This one here still comes together to a needle nose point, but the grip on it is rather more aggressive. Yeah. Then it goes down to this wire stripping portion, and then it has wire cutters down the bottom there. So if you're more likely to be stripping wire, then turning bolts, um, it's probably still not a bad idea um, to have these because the, um, the pickup part of the pliers at the end is still very effective and very precise. Stripping wire is a thing that um, you generally don't have to do a great deal of, I've found, not in my life anyway. Um, usually when you do do it, you have to lug one of these giant things like this around. There's all the measurements down the bottom there. Um, this is just for a big cheapo tool set, it has a few other things in it as well, that to be, to be completely frank, I don't really know what they do. So, um, but yeah, if I did need a, a strip wire before I've got my new ES4, I'd be getting this thing out. Uh, the only time I've had to do it is installing the surround sound cables when the, um, the wire at the end gets really bushy and you need to just cut that off and start again. Um, back when you used to have to push it in um, into the little clip-on pits in the back of your amplifier and such. Not, so, not sure if you still do, but I've... I've not played with that sort of stuff for a while. Here's some um, here's some USB cable. So let's strip this. I think this will be the third one down. Perhaps so you need to factor in the casing that you're going to be cutting off. And so if clips in, that's sort of cutting the casing right now. And then where it comes, it pulls it off. Sorry. It's a handy enough feature. Sort of need to give it a bit of a clip sometimes, give it a pull through. Go, okay, now it's off again. So, how much you'd actually use that feature? Um, I dare say most people would still stick with just the standard pliers, but I think it's fairly handy to have uh, at least this in a in a sort of top drawer sense, rather than having to go into your shed and get this thing. So, um, if you were um, likely to be installing, um, as I said, surround sound cables, or even just trying to make two bits of um, extension cord uh, a bit longer by mixing them together and then wrapping them up with electrical tape and doing a bit of an amateur extension job then this might be something you could think about. You could make sort of one of those super long USB cables perhaps um, if you could get a magnifying glass and pair up all the, all the ends just right. So there you go. The uses I guess are, are up to your imagination. Uh, that's just my two cents on it. I think it's quite a cool little tool and a cool thing to have and just great to have as part of my collection. Matches its uh, red juice brother, squirt brother rather. Uh, the alumi uh, anodized, alumized. The anodized um, aluminium scales are the same. Uh, the same red exactly, I think. Yep. Also comes in black. There you go. Uh, spring loaded. Nothing else particularly remarkable to say about it. That's the um, Leatherman Squirt ES4. Thanks for watching. See you later.